Periods are a fact of life for every woman. But menstrual products can be expensive. A recent study shows one in five young teens struggle to afford these necessary products, and some even miss school because of it. New at 5, 10 of your sides, my Lena Valores is here with an effort to change that. Lena? Yeah, there's some local nonprofits who want to supply these products for free to girls in all of the schools across Hampton Roads. And that is a big undertaking. But the Junior League of Norfolk, Virginia Beach is already working with a handful of elementary schools to do this. Their goal is to eliminate period poverty in Hampton Roads. The average woman spends six to seven years of her life on her period. The cost of menstrual products over that time span, nearly $3,500. It's that expense that's created the phrase period poverty. It's where girls don't have access or resources in order to uh, provide for their menstrual needs. Amanda Lloyd is the president of the local chapter of the Junior League. The group is on a mission to end period poverty. Part of their goal is to raise awareness by wearing the same black outfit for the entire week. Where it may be an inconvenience to us to wear the same piece of clothing over and over, it's also very much a reality for someone who doesn't have the ability to wear multiple things all week. The other part of their goal is to collect supplies and donations. We have period packs with pads, panty liners, chapstick, wipes. Um, and these are located in the nurse's office. The group is working on an agreement with Norfolk Public Schools to provide menstrual supplies in all of the city schools. Our goal is to um, not only supply period packs to elementary and middle schools, but to put dispensaries into high schools, so dual pad and tampon dispensaries, so uh, girls in high school have them right there in their restrooms. Lloyd says it's critical for young women to have access to these supplies. It's crucial. It could mean, you know, um, not just missing school, but not being focused on schoolwork. And that could affect her in her academic performance at school as well. And she hopes this furthers the conversation about menstrual health. There is a bill in the General Assembly to abolish taxes on menstrual products. It passed unanimous, uh, unanimously in the Senate. The Senate also passed a bill that would require public schools to provide free menstrual products in bathrooms. Those bills will head to the House of Delegates next. I'm Maria Lana Baloris, 10 on your side.